So you think you have Lyme disease, but you got a negative test result. So now your doctor's kind of like, I don't know what to do. Well, if that's the case and your doctor's basing it off one single test, I would find a new doctor, first of all. Second of all, there's five different tests that you can take, including PCR, IFA, uh, Western blot, ELISA test, right? There's a bunch of different tests that you can take. A culture test is the fifth one, but they don't necessarily, that doesn't mean that you're going to get that positive result. Now, if you live in a Lyme endemic area where there's woods around you all the time, you go hiking all the time and you may or may not have had a tick bite and you think it's possible, like for me, I grew up in Northeastern Pennsylvania where there's a lot of wooded trails. We're constantly going hiking. It's just something fun that, you know, everybody does and likes to do. We're always in and around the woods. All the houses basically have backyards where it's mostly woods. And, you know, I spent a lot of time in wooded areas where there's a lot of ticks and the state animal there is a white-tailed deer. And these ticks are known as deer ticks. So, for me, it was pretty obvious that I could easily have Lyme disease. So if I started having symptoms, and I'm not gonna say the entire symptom list of Lyme disease because we'd be here all day, but things like stiffness, headaches, vertigo, uh, feeling of dizziness, fainting, uh, headache, I think I already said headaches, but uh, if you get like a random fever out of nowhere, if you, get, if you have the EM rash, right? These are all signs that you may, or may, that you may have Lyme disease. So if, you're, if you have these signs and you believe that you have Lyme disease just based off of you know, where you live and the, the circumstances you live in every day and the symptoms that you're experiencing, but you got a negative test, first of all, go find another doctor or tell your doctor to give you more tests because there's many options for testing. Sometimes false negatives happen because the Lyme disease is still early stage right? It takes a little bit for antibodies to show up in the body and start fighting back against Lyme disease. And most of the tests measure antibodies to Lyme disease. We're not actually measuring for the microbe itself. We're measuring for the antibodies that are there to fight back against Lyme disease. And the other thing to notice is that Lyme disease is very, very good at hiding from the immune system. It's, what, it's why they're known as the great imitator. It's why they're easily uh, they go unnoticed. They go. They escape basically from the immune system by doing things like changing their DNA, cloaking themselves in an invisible cloak by using uh, our DNA to create a kind of sheath-like thing that they cover themselves in in order to go unnoticed by the immune system. It's crazy, crazy stuff. And all that being said is we may not have any antibodies expressed yet to fight back because we're just don't notice that it's in our body. Our immune system didn't catch up yet. Or maybe our immune system's underreacting, so the antibodies aren't being uh, signaled to go attack this microbe yet. Or maybe there's a biofilm of Lyme microbes all grouped together that make it pretty much impossible to penetrate, and the antibodies get worn down and, and start giving up after a while. There's many reasons why there could be a false negative for Lyme disease, which is why we need to find ways to test that isn't testing just for antibodies. That is the main problem that we're up against. And so far, there just hasn't really been much that's been developed in this case for Lyme disease. Another problem with testing is some of the tests just test for the presence of Borrelia burgdorferi in the body at any time. That means that you could have had it 20 years ago or you could have had it yesterday. There, whatever point you had Lyme microbes in the system, it will create a positive test. So there is such thing as false positives as well. And we don't really know if you ever are able to get rid of or you know completely destroy Lyme disease, but it's just whether or whether or not you're experiencing symptoms. But what, what do we have to do? Well, the good news is personally, I had Lyme disease and I had a very serious, serious case of Lyme disease. It was attacking my heart. I, I was getting vertigo. I was fainting. I was sleeping 16 hours a day. I mean, like it was smashing me down. I don't, and I was actually scared that I was going to live long enough to meet my son. 
at the time. That's what I was scared of. I thought I might not make it. And so that's what drove me to try to get better. And I didn't use antibiotics. Instead, I used a completely natural, holistic approach. I started by doing things like changing my diet, getting lots of sleep, meditating, uh, making sure that I was resting, making sure that I was hydrating, but then also making sure that I was sweating often so that I could detox things out of my body. Using things like a sauna or eat light exercise can help a lot. Um, I know some people say, you know, I can't exercise, I have Lyme disease, but you, some people can exercise when they have Lyme disease. It's just, you know, person to person. Personally, I, I couldn't exercise too much. My, I had a heart issues, which is, it was kind of dangerous. So I used a sauna. So what a sauna does, it'll, it'll increase your heart rate enough to cause you to sweat. So you're at least releasing all the toxins through your skin. You're opening up that detoxification pathway so that you can get rid of things like Lyme microbes as they die off. You can avoid things like Herxheimer reactions. So I had this overall approach of health and wellness that I just took into my life and I got very, very strict. I cut out things like alcohol, I cut out caffeine, I cut out uh, anything that wasn't serving me. I cut people out of my life that were negative or causing me you know, mental stress. And I really like got down to the bare basics of living in a healthy, sustainable way. I, I cut out so many things from my life and I added in so many other things. And the things that I added in were things like herbs. That was the main thing, right? Herbs. And there's a few herbs in particular that I used that I now box up in a nice package that I give to other people called the Lyme Wars Herb Box. You can check it out at LymeDiseaseWars.com if you're interested. But the point is I added in herbs. I added in things like adaptogenic mushrooms. And I ate a lot more whole plant-based foods. And you know, all of this focus on health really just brought me closer to homeostasis where my body could heal itself from the inside out. The body knows how to heal. And we just need to help it along that path. If we're eating a, a standard American diet, the SAD diet, then our body's not gonna be able to heal because we're just you know, filled with grease and fat and sugar and we're, you know, we're just not fueling our body with the correct things that allow it to reach homeostasis. We may have things like leaky gut syndrome where you know, we're getting an additional immune response based on you know, food leaking through the barrier in the gut lining. We could also have an, a weakened immune system just by lack of vitamin C, vitamin D, lack of vitamins and minerals in our, in our body. When we're not fueling up correctly, then that's gonna basically break down everything else that we do. And, and that includes sleeping and high quality sleep, hydration, staying hydrated throughout the day, and not just with water, but with minerals as well. You know, not many people talk about this, but water with sodium, potassium, magnesium, the, the, you know, all of those minerals that we need in our water is very important as well. And it doesn't just come from filtered water that we get those. A lot of times we're filtering those things out, so we need to add them back in. But when I took this full health approach to my life, I was able to turn around Lyme disease. I was able to heal myself from the inside out and I was able to survive to meet my son. And so if you have a negative test for Lyme disease, but you believe you have Lyme disease, none of the things that I said are off the table for you. I personally could have healed from Lyme disease even if I didn't have a positive test. Now me personally, I had the EM rash. So if a doctor that knows what they're doing sees you with an EM rash, you'll immediately get a Lyme disease diagnosis because an EM rash is a sure sign that you have Lyme disease. You don't even really need to take a test from that point on. You just simply, you know, they say, okay, you have Lyme disease and that's about it. Personally, I was able to get rid of all my symptoms within five, within a year. And it's been five years since I've had any type of symptom whatsoever that has to do with Lyme disease. I haven't had anything wrong, no symptoms, no heart problems, nothing since I was able to turn my life around and heal my body. And I want to teach other people to do the same thing, which is why I created this channel. It's why I created LymeDiseaseWars.com. 
And it's why I give people all of the tools and tricks and tips that I can in my daily newsletter. You can sign up for my daily newsletter as well. And by doing so, you'll get a free ebook. So all you have to do is I'll put the link below in the description. You could go get your free ebook. And in this book, uh, we talk about the five steps that I used in order to heal Lyme disease from the inside out. And it's not an exhaustive list of five steps, but we even throw a sixth bonus step in there. I just want to give you as much as possible uh, in order to help you get better from Lyme disease. I know what it's like. I know how it feels to have Lyme disease. And if you're getting a negative test, I don't want you to get discouraged. I don't want to give up. I don't want you to, you know, just blame the medical system while it is, does have its flaws, I admit. And it's not their fault that the testing is just not there yet. Um, all we can do is, well, you can do everything that I mentioned. You can start to heal naturally without getting a positive Lyme disease test. Because everything I just mentioned will lead you closer to truly healthy lifestyle, whether or whether or not you have Lyme disease. And that's the goal of healthy living anyway, is just to get better and better each and every day. So if that interests you, hit the subscribe button to this channel. Feel free to go grab your free ebook or get your Lyme Wars herb box at LymeDiseaseWars.com. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.